But look at verse 26. And it was revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before the Lord, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Next, like Simeon, seek, now look at the, the title there on the screen, the Spirit illumined life. Do you know what? And I think I'm covering it tonight. Um, last week we had so many questions. We had a run on the microphones that I, all I did the whole night is write the questions down. Barely answered any of them. So I'm sorting back through and going to come back to them tonight. And I think one of them was something about how do you know the Lord's will? And what I said is that's probably the most frequent question I get. People are saying, how do I know it's Lord's will that I take that job, that I marry that person, that I even do this, that I, I have two choices. How do I know the Lord's will? Did you know that the Lord has told us exactly how to know his will? Did you know that? Do you know what verse? If, if you're sitting, discipling someone, and they ask you that, where do you turn? Well, let me show you. It's back to the middle to Psalm 16 and verse 11. Because God has told us exactly how to know his will. And it might surprise you what he said. You, most of you already know that verse, but think about what it's saying. Psalm 16 and verse 11. Simeon learned what God wanted him to do in life. How did he learn it? How was he confident that God had a plan? And how could he rest in that plan? That calm assurance came from what Simeon had learned as a good, temple-going, observant Jew. Because he regularly heard this 16th Psalm. And look what it says in verse 11. This is how you know the Lord's will. He shows it to us. Isn't that amazing? Have you ever thought about that? People are out searching. I mean, it's like they've got spotlights and they're going, I want to know the Lord's will. And the Lord's standing there saying, verse 11, I will show you the path of life. My will only comes by me leading you into it. If you stay behind me, if you follow me, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they what me? Follow God's will. Now, I know that, you know, it's it, what we want to know is between this car and that car, and what we want to know is between this person and that person. But all of that is answered the same way. God says, I want to show you the path of life. You know you're following me because you'll have fullness of joy as long as you stay in my presence. The way we stay in the Lord's presence is staying right with him. Now, I'm terrible on this. When, when we're following someone, I'll get talking to Bonnie, and I'll get talking to the kids, and I'll get thinking. And I just, Bonnie will say, you're, you're passing them, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Back up, slow down, stay behind them. They're, they're leading us somewhere. That happens to us regularly in life. We'll, we just get going in life, and pretty soon we're not following the Lord. In fact, after first service, someone met me in the aisle. And they said, we have been doing what you said this morning for years. And the Lord hasn't shown us the next step. I said, then his will is what you're doing right now. You should have seen the look on their faces. They said, waiting is God's will? I said, yep. Did you know that there are eight different Hebrew words? The English word, if you take a concordance, that's a big book like Strong's or Young's, and look up the English word, wait. Underneath the English word, they'll have Hebrew word, Hebrew word, Hebrew word, Hebrew word, Hebrew word, and then all the verses that are translated. But what you find is there are eight different Hebrew words that are all translated by one English word, wait. You know what that means? God has a lot of waiting for us. And his will is that we wait. In fact, the, the three ways God answers, yes, no, and wait, in my life, the most, I get the wait one. And I don't like that one. I like yes or no. Do it or don't. And it's wait. And that's because he said, you all know this, Isaiah 40, 22, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. You see, God has so much and he wants to, verse 11, Psalm 16, show us the path. Do you have the calm assurance that you're following the plan of God? If not, it means that, that you're passing the Lord. He says, wait and follow me.